One of the most important parts in establishing eligibility for your American citizenship is the naturalization interview. This is the part where you need to answer questions from a USCIS officer in order to pass the tests related to civics and the English language. It might be true that there are a few strict immigration officers, while some are very friendly too, once you meet them on the day of your naturalization interview. Immigration procedures, especially when it comes to American citizenship applications through naturalization, require an interview with a USCIS officer. So even if you will be assigned with a strict immigration officer, but you are well prepared and do not cause suspicion as an applicant, your naturalization citizenship interview will still be successful. We had received many comments from our viewers and subscribers that their naturalization interview was pleasing and memorable because part of it has something to do with the personality of the USCIS officer who interviewed them that day. A friendly and professional immigration officer had lessened a lot of their tensions before, during, and after their naturalization interviews and tests for U.S. citizenship. Meeting a USCIS officer for the first time who is approachable and easygoing shall truly make the interview like a very good discussion that will calm the applicant's feelings of worry and tension. However, it's important to remember that it's the immigration officer's role to determine whether there is anything about your present circumstances and background that will also prevent you from receiving the citizenship status you desire. Please remember that the USCIS officer does not have anything against you personally, but it's simply his or her job to ask various questions on the day of your naturalization interview. So try to be alert when you meet the USCIS officer who will interview you and follow the directions that will be given. So for example, if the officer wants you to try to use the digital pen, just try to use it first and avoid any hesitancy or much worse, an argument. Another example, if you come with your spouse and the officer wants to interview both of you separately, then this is also considered as a proper way of interviewing an applicant. Always be prepared to answer personal questions, especially if you are married to a U.S. citizen and you are applying for citizenship through marriage. Once the USCIS officer will ask you questions with regards to the forms and documents that you are bringing, you should be able to respond to any questions about them. Some immigration officers are very friendly, but others are not. So listen carefully and answer only the question that you are being asked. You don't want to feel insulted during your interview that may later get you upset and no longer let you focus on the important questions being asked. Take note that the civics test is very important because once you lose focus, you will not be able to remember the answers to the 100 questions. Try to stay calm the entire interview, and if you don't understand any question, ask the USCIS officer to say it again or rephrase it. Be humble and respectful since this is the last interview that you will have with an immigration officer. Once you receive your naturalization certificate, then you are also done with your immigration journey. If you speak falsely or lie to a USCIS officer with intent to deceive, it could give your N-400 application negative results which may include deportation and you may no longer be allowed to apply for American citizenship. If you know that there is a part of your N-400 application that will give any feeling of doubt or suspicion, practice a truthful answer to it. If you are exempt and you were officially informed through the USCIS I-797C Notice of Action Interview Notice Letter that you need to bring an interpreter with you 
then you need to follow those instructions. There are exceptions and modifications to the naturalization requirements that are available to those who qualify, like age, and the number of years that they have lived in the United States. The USCIS also gives accommodations for individuals with disabilities. You don't want the interviewing officer to wait for you, this is not a first good impression on your part as the applicant. It's better to wait for the interviewing officer than letting him or her wait for you. Arrive early at the USCIS office. Sometimes, failing to appear at the interview without a valid reason could result in the denial of your application. It may take another lengthy immigration process to get another naturalization interview for you. Your application needs to have supporting documents to make it complete. If the USCIS officer says part of your application is incomplete, solve the situation by showing documents and forms that you have brought with you. Your citizenship interview is also about the needed time for the USCIS officer to review your N-400 application. The interviewing officer simply wants to verify the information on your Form N-400 and other related or additional documents. The USCIS officer will mostly repeat some of the questions that are found on the N-400 form, so you will want to review it in advance to make sure that your responses are correct and accurate. This part of the interview also tests the foreign national's command of the English language. Be patient with the USCIS officer, even if you think that you feel a little bit mistreated. Let the interview finish first and make sure to receive the USCIS Form N and 652 before leaving the office. Please remember that every naturalization applicant is issued the Form N-652, Notice of Naturalization Interview Results, once the interview is done. A USCIS officer should use the Naturalization Interview Results, also known as USCIS Form N-652. Try to answer any questions and be hopeful to pass your interview even if you don't like the way the immigration officer handles it. Sometimes, you think that immigration officer might not like you because of how he or she is questioning you. However, there are questions that could be inappropriate or unimportant to you, but the immigration officers are trained well for it and will only ask difficult questions within the boundaries of what is allowed by the USCIS. On the day of your naturalization interview, the USCIS officer shall ask whether anything has changed since you submitted your N-400 application form. Inform honestly about any changes to the immigration officer. This is important so that the interviewing officer will be able to update correctly any changes that have happened after you submitted your N-400 application. These could include your status, if you recently got married or divorced, had a baby, relocated to another state, recently had an international trip, or a job change. There are situations that the USCIS officer will look really serious and could be suspicious of applicants, with certain kinds of changes. So for example, if you receive your green card or permanent resident card through marriage, because you married a US citizen, you may no longer be eligible for citizenship if you divorced your American citizen spouse between the time of the application and the interview. The USCIS officer may ask many questions that could affect the results of your naturalization interview. You may not be eligible for American citizenship if you have committed certain crimes like rape, drug trafficking, sex with a partner who is under the age of consent, usually below 18 years old, money laundering over $10,000, or income tax evasion over $10,000.
In some cases, you could even face the risk of deportation proceedings, so you can consult an attorney before going to the interview, if you are in either of these situations. If you have not committed a certain crime or your application is not complicated, you don't need to have an immigration lawyer for your naturalization application to become a U.S. citizen. Please remember that if you fail the civics test, the USCIS will schedule another naturalization interview for you within the next 90 days, at which you will be retested again so that you can pass. USCIS officers are well trained to do their jobs and they understand that repeating questions could be necessary and will be considerate unless the immigration officer determines that you do not understand English after trying many ways to explain it to you. In addition to the basic and formal English test, part of the USCIS officer's evaluation of your English language skills will be based on your ability to follow instructions given and answer questions throughout the entire interview. After the interview, the USCIS officer will determine if you have met all of those requirements for American citizenship. The USCIS officer will inform you of the approval on the spot and give important information about the naturalization oath ceremony. Once you receive your naturalization certificate, you will formally become a U.S. citizen at this important ceremony. However, in some cases, some immigration officers do not make a decision right away and may ask the immigrant applicant for more needed evidence. This is usually resolved by giving more original or important documents to check any issues. Another reason could be that the USCIS computer system was glitchy and down, so the applicant's important information was not successfully processed. There are various reasons, but most of the time, the applicant will eventually receive a notice for the US Citizenship Oath Ceremony Schedule. Other times, if the immigration officer is still new to the workplace, a consultation with a USCIS supervisor is needed whether an immigrant applicant was able to meet a certain requirements before the final approval of an American citizenship. Generally, the USCIS will issue a decision 120 days from the date of the applicant's first or initial naturalization interview. We wish you the best for your interview and tests for U.S. citizenship.